Hello friends, today I will discuss about the implementation of if-else statement in Simulink model. If you want to use if-else statement in your Simulink model, then how you can use this concept? Okay, so we try to understand this concept with the help of implementation of simple function. So we have a function which has two variables x and y. So basically these are the two input variables. So if x is greater than y, then the value of the function is x minus y. Okay, and if x is less than y, then the value is y minus x and if x is equal to y then the function value is x into y so we have to implement this concept in the simulink okay so let's see so open the simulink library browser and create one new model now we required uh, one if block so you can search if block so if block is available in search so this is the if block and with if block we have to use one if action subsystem also so take it here and uh, for adding we can add uh, through the right click also add block to the untitled so we got this action subsystem block also at this time you can uh, check here we have only one input okay u1 uh, but uh, actually we require two inputs one is x and other is y so we can configure this block so make this two apply now we have the two inputs okay and uh, at this time I am providing the two inputs as a constant so I have to take two constants so take one constant and make the copy of simple control C and control V okay make the copy and now this is x and this is y okay uh, we can change the values no problem so basically uh, u1 is treated as x and u2 is treated as y okay and now again we have to configure this block so first condition is that u1 is greater than 0 currently but uh, in our problem uh, we have to uh, give one condition if x is greater than y that means u1 is greater than u2 okay so this is similar to x greater than y so in this case we can say this particular output will be high okay if second condition is u1 is less than u2 okay and the rest thing will goes to the else section uh, if you require to add uh, some additional thing then uh, you can include that condition by uh, putting one comma and then you can add uh, u1 is equal to is equal to u2 also okay but in this case else section will be empty okay so we can apply here you can check in the block so we are getting here uh, four uh, conditions okay but actually we want to last condition the else so i think there is no need to uh, take this case particular because this will handle by the else okay so apply so now we have the three outputs three conditional outputs we can say okay so first is for uh, x is greater than y x is less than y and other is obviously three uh, conditions may be possible so third will be used for the x is equal to y okay so this section is completed now we want to implement for first case when x is greater than y actually what is that condition if you want to know what was the problem we can take the image of that problem here we can import the image just for the simplicity that is available on my desktop so so basically we have to implement this okay so for the x greater than y we have to implement x minus y so how we can do this x minus y so simply i have to take one math operation that is a addition of the two signals or subtraction of two signals so i have to perform x minus y okay so you can make this like plus and minus you can change this way so x is here so i want to make x minus y okay so connect y at the minus point so now this is the x minus y and uh, give it into the input okay and at the output you have to use one display because we are providing the constant value so we can use the display simply but if you are providing some continuous values in that case you have to use scope also right so at this time i can use the display no problem and the output of this you have to give in the action so this will trigger when it will high the input will pass to the output simply so this is the function of this block okay it uh, uh, holds the input 
until uh, it gets the trigger input so when the and this trigger input is high it passes the input to the outputs so this is the if action subsystem this is the work of the if, if action subsystem right uh, similarly we have to implement other two parts also so in the second we have to use y minus x so i am creating one copy of this tell v okay and i have to use the copy of this one also and copy of display also so we can take y at positive and x as negative so x at negative because y minus x is required and y at positive right so this is y minus x and give this into the input and take the trigger signal here right and connect the output here okay and the last case is we have to again take this action block and one display and this else come here right and uh, x into y so in this case we have to use one multiply block so for that you can go to the mass operation and uh, product so product we have to make the product of x and y so we can take x and y from here okay and give it into here right so now we can I give the some input suppose I am providing 2 and uh, 2 so that means uh, we want to check the third case when both inputs are same the output is x into y that means uh, we will get 4 here okay and uh, other will give the 0 output right so we can run so we got the 4 okay now we can fit the view also now it is better I think so now it is 4 okay so now if I change it to suppose it is 5 now x is greater than y so in this case if x is greater than y then x minus y okay then output will be 3 and it will be here so we can run the system obviously 3 so the system is working properly okay so I think uh, now you can implement this concept very easily in your model I have one more problem also so that is a little bit complex problem so you can also implement such type of problem so just I am I will show the model of this problem okay and you can try this problem yourself so for this problem I have the model so this is the problem for this function so in this case you can now understand this easily because uh, based on the previous problem you can easily understand this okay uh, but here uh, you can see some changes one is I have used this as the input basically this is one subsystem so in this subsystem I have implement all these things because uh, uh, at uh, one place if we put all the blocks then system becomes very complex but just to reduce the complexity we just make the subsystem so I have used here one subsystem other subsystem is here you can also make the subsystem of this if you require you have to just select and uh, from here you can create a subsystem oh so what kind of subsystem basically you want to create so you can create one subsystem normal subsystem you want to create this is one subsystem okay in this way you can create after that uh, I have taken one thing that is merge because I want to add all the outputs okay because this output is based on the time here it is the function of time and we have taken the simulation time basically okay so we have used merge concept so when I run this you can check the output auto scale so this is the output so this is the combination of all the outputs basically the output is varying based on the timing simulation time right so this type of uh, problem you can also implement so I think uh, now you can easily implement any kind of if else statement so if you think you have learned something from this lecture please like this lecture and share with your friends thank you